hi guys welcome to my channel make it yourself today we are going to make this super duper easy pattern of a butterfly so you can turn this butterfly into a bookmark as well or can use the butterfly itself in other crochet projects so let's get started uh, we are going to start off by making a magic ring to make the magic ring I have used three fingers because I want the mag magic ring to be a bit uh, larger and after that I'm going to make a chain of one so uh, I actually need to make a chain of four so I just made the chain of one to uh, secure the magic ring and now I'll continue and make the remaining three chains so this is the uh, second chain the third chain and the fourth chain now we are going to make a treble crochet so for a treble crochet yarn over twice and pull a loop under the ring now pull through two loops at a time and do this for three times so this is the second set and this is the third set and now we are going to make a chain three picot so for that chain three first and now insert your hook into the base two loops and pull a loop through it and then make a slip stitch now you're going to make two more treble crochet into the magic ring this is the first treble crochet and this is next is the second treble crochet so pull through first set of loops second set of loops and the third set of loops so now we are going to make a chain four again so chain one two three and four and we are going to slip stitch into the magic ring so pull under the loop and make a slip stitch now we are going to make the bottom part of the butterfly wing of one side so for that we're going to chain two and now we are going to make three double crochets into the magic ring so this is the first double crochet the second double crochet and the third double crochet now we are going to make a chain to picot similar to what we did in the previous wing so make a chain of two and now insert your hook into the bottom two loops and pull a loop through it and make a slip stitch and now we are going to chain two again and slip stitch into the magic ring so you can reduce the size of the magic ring uh, to help you control or hold the ring better so we're going to slip stitch it here and after this this is like one side of the butterfly ring which is a uh, butterfly wing which is ready now we're making the other side so we're going to chain two and then make one double crochet into the magic ring and now we are going to make a chain two picot so chain two and insert your hook into the base two loops and pull through it and then make a slip stitch now we're going to make two more double crochets after this so this is the first double crochet make one more double crochet and now make a chain two and slip stitch into the magic ring so this is the bottom part of the second wing which is done and now we'll do the top part of the second part of the wing so we're going to chain four and now we are going to make two treble crochet into the magic ring so as i said for treble crochet you'll yarn over twice and pull through three sets of uh, loops so this is the first set which has two of it second set and the third set 
now we are going to make a chain 3 pico again so chain 3 and insert the hook into the base 2 loops or pull through it and then make a slip stitch after this we are going to make one more treble crochet and following this we are going to make a chain 4 and slip stitch to the ring so we are done with the two sets of uh, butterfly wings so we're going to slip stitch under the ring and to secure it we are going to chain one and then pull the yarn tightly to make a knot and then trim off the yarn so here the wings of the butterfly is ready we will be now pulling the tail yarn of the magic ring to close the ring as much as possible you need not uh, close it 100% uh, because that might end up squishing uh, uh, all the four wings so just pull it uh, so that the uh, magic ring is smaller and as you can see I still have some space in the magic ring left but uh, this way the shape of the butterfly wing looks good so the tail yarn what we can do is use a needle and stitch them under the stitches of the uh, of the first round and just pull through a few of the stitches and once you feel that the tail yarn is secure and hidden you can trim it off similarly for the other tail yarn also use a needle and insert insert it under few stitches on the other side and pull through it a few times and trim it off so here the butterfly wings are ready so for the body of the butterfly you can use a different color here i'm using a brown yarn so just wrap it around from top to bottom uh, in the manner shown in the video and then you can place a knot on the back side of the butterfly so you can place two knots to secure it and the smaller tail yarn you can just stitch it into the existing brown part of the butterfly and hide it here instead of a needle I'm using a smaller crochet hook and trying to hide the tail yarn and the longer tail yarn insert your hook under the bottom part of the butterfly and now pull and make a loop so using this loop we are going to make chains so this chain uh, will help us in creating the uh, bookmark tail so just keep on chaining here i have made a chain of 50 you can chain more or less based on the length of your book so after you have chained the required length you can trim off the yarn and uh, the tail is ready now to uh, for the top part we are going to use a black yarn and pull the string under the body part and place two knots tightly on the top portion of the butterfly so after placing two knots we can trim off the other yarn and we're going to place um, a few knots at the end of the thread as well so after placing one or two knots uh, you can trim it off and uh, one uh, tip that I'll share here is you can leave it like this or what you can do is you can uh, dab a bit of glue to this uh, black yarn so that the knots are in place and they hold the shape uh, better so here I have just taken a bit of glue uh, and just dabbed it at the ends to make it look uh, and hold uh, look more realistic and uh, hold the shape as well so here the bookmarks are ready I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial please do subscribe and click on the bell icon for notifications and give me a thumbs up if this video was useful thank you very much for watching and have a good day guys